All right. Hey guys, welcome to our Saturday night thrift haul. We go live every Saturday night at 8.30 Mountain Time and we show you junk that we've purchased, found, have given to us, and we tell you what we paid for and what we're going to sell it for. We're also going to be painting at the end of this video, so when you see those paint products come out, you can pick those up at jamierayvintage.com. And last but not least, if you want to shop tonight, because you're a shopper, not a lurker, <laughs> or a follower, you we'll just take, want to we'll shop. We'll take we'll take all we'll kinds. Lurkers, shoppers, sharers, people with comments, whatever. Um, if you want to <laughs> shop, those are also on jamierayvintage.com. Under the Saturday Thrift Hall, Caitlin is on here tonight, so she'll drop links in the live chat so you guys can see those. But if you want to just skip ahead, if you go to Saturday Thrift Hall, it'll show you everything that's available from this week and previous thrift hauls. So we're going to get started. All right. So we're going to start out. We got a lot of kind of high-end items, both off the back porch and from the thrift stores. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff donated from Joanne, Joanne. this week. Um, I think most of it is from her. a couple of items from the lambs, which is the church we bought. We're starting to help them move and there's been a few things they've left behind. So a few things from there. So you're gonna start seeing things from the church being sold. This is, we're gonna get rid of this one first because it's right in front of Zeb. This is really cool. Um, Joanne actually already painted this and stamped it, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and give it a fresh new look with a coat of paint. What I like is that flip around show in the back. So the center piece pops out. You can change it out if you want. You could even make like four or five seasonal things if you want to just leave this in your entry or something and then change it as you go. Yeah, so you could turn it into a chalkboard or whatever, but I thought it'd be really cute. You could decoupage the middle. Oh, do you want me to decoupage this tonight? Should yeah, we, we decoupage? could paint this and then decoupage the middle. Ooh, holiday the theme decoupage. Oh, oh the well, birds, yeah. I was gonna say, I don't know. You know, we haven't used the chalkboard. birds much. But a lot of our retailers use the birds, and we can't keep them in stock. The birds are like some more. Are they back in stock? Yeah, they're in stock. Okay, perfect. So yeah, this is really fun because this comes out, which makes it really easy to paint this and then do something different with that. So this, what I would have paid probably up to ten dollars for this, and we're selling it for thirty nine ninety five once it's painted and finished. If you're new here, we have things on our list that say will be painted because sometimes people will buy them no matter what we do to them. Um, and they want to get dibs, so we sell things as is, and then sometimes we sell things to be painted. So What's this shelf? another shelf. This one's fun. It's got these hand cut corbels on the side, and this front lip is also hand cut. It's just like a shop project or something. It's all handmade. A little Solid bit older. Um, would have probably paid around five to ten dollars for this one too. It's a good shelf. We're selling it for twenty nine ninety five. Are we painting this one or just wiping yes. it down good? Whoa. Sorry. Sneeze. Luckily, you can't catch my germs through the <laughs> through the camera. I did not mean to sneeze on camera. It, it caught me by surprise. Just zipped on out of there. All right, next. Because you've all been waiting for this. We'll talk about this in a minute because it's cool. But this is next. So Thrift this, store on this one. Picked it up um, at the DI. We went to the Centerville, Utah DI, kind of far away. Did they get all the stuff? Huh? Did they um, get all the stuff or are we emptying it out I'm and chucking it? I'm going to throw away that old potpourri. It's, you Unless know. somebody emails Caitlin is like, I bought it, but I also want the inside stuff. But I think it would be super cute for Christmas if you put a bunch of Christmas balls in it. And then you could just seasonally change things out. Oh, yeah. That would be a good idea. So you could even do like some fruit or something. We're going to paint the top. It's and big. it's big. And the glass is thick. So it's like a good quality thick glass. Okay. We're gonna get rid of the How much did we pay for it? It was seven dollars. Seven dollars, and it's gonna be forty nine ninety five. Big pieces of glass like that. Thank you, Odelia. She says, "Bless you." Always sell really well. So if you guys are thrifters and you want things to flip to put in like a boutique or a booth, look for oversized pieces of glass because it'll be much cheaper to purchase it and flip it that way. Because if you were to buy that wholesale, that would probably cost forty bucks wholesale, easy because it's huge piece of glass you guys jamie found this piece of fenton glass at the thrift store it still has the fenton sticker on it right here does it say fenton underneath um on the not on the bottom it's right here thank goodness the sticker was authentic on fenton handmade so um this was actually oddly enough it's in great it's kind of dirty well we'll wipe down before we send it but it's in great shape it's been used as a vase it's probably had flowers in it yeah, a lot it's in great shape there's a spot at the thrift store where you can like plug stuff in to see if it works. And behind a bunch of stuff, this was like sitting there and I spied it across the room and I beelined over to it. I thought mm, maybe it's just milk glass. I picked it up. I'm like, this is Fenton. What? So I was super excited. I think I paid three or four dollars for it. How much is it? 
Four dollars. And I'm selling four it for thirty-two ninety-five. Thirty-two ninety-five after a good scrubbing. Fenton always sells really, really well. Jack's like that. Looks like pouring milk. Jimmy's like ironic because it's milk glass. <laughs> right. It does look like poured milk. All right. I, I will show you the swan. Oogle it for a sec while I go set this somewhere safe. This came from Joanne. She left these beautiful swans on her back porch. I think that it might have been silver plated brass, but now what's left over is more like just tarnished brass because there's not a lot of silver plate left. If you look on the inside, that's why I think it's silver was silver plated because there's that indication in there. That's where it doesn't get wear or wiped much. Or it's brass plated silver. One of the know. two. Whatever. It's awesome. That seems Tarnished. backwards though, brass plated silver. Yeah, it's super heavy. It's not lightweight. Um, and we're selling it for $39.95. I think it's amazing. It is cool. All right. All right. Next item. This is also from the thrift store. This is carved wood. And it's not CNC carved. This is hand carved. Yes. It's hand carved. That's, yep. That's a good deal. Made in Thailand. Um, it's got hanging hardware on the back. Somebody already painted it. We're gonna so paint it I will disclaim it's wood and it's got a little twisty in it. Not bad. It's got hanging hardware on the back. But just if you get it, just know it's got just a slight little, I don't oh, want to say warp twist. Oh, somebody must have loved that swan bowl because it's so. Ooh, swan bowl. Swans are hot right now. You can't get enough of them. Jody says, do you do sizzle? I don't know what sizzle is, Jody. And we're really bright. I'm going to tone us back a little bit. Um, if you guys are on Facebook, if you would hit that share button, that would be a huge helper out to us. It gets these videos out for other people to see them. All right. Let's see. There we go. Here, I'll show this close since we're up here. Hand carved. Did you tell them how much we got this for? Nope, I haven't got that far. So we we bought it for three dollars. We're selling it for twenty nine ninety five. Are we painting it or just leaving it as is? Um, we are going to be painting it. It's already painted, but I feel like it needs a little bit more of a like. A they probably paint didn't have like a good brush with a pointer on it because they just kind of got the top. But Jody cool says piece. you should. Thanks for sharing, Paula. I'll look it up after this live. Thanks for the tip. I, I touched the mic. Um, I'll look up after this live. Okay, I'm going to see. Oh, the pear sold, the totem sold. Now that's interesting. I didn't know. Oh, I'll show the totem in a minute. I am excited about the totem. I, I like it. I didn't lot. know. Like the totem was a wild card. For me. Okay, you guys. We got baskets. We got baskets. So let's do this one first. Okay. So this one is like a replica fishing basket. It's, it could be used as a real fishing basket too. If you have little it's, tiny fish. It's got Oh, this is for your strap. Yeah, right? this is this is so you like you like wear this while you're fishing. Yeah, but or, I don't think it, I think it's made for decor. But the cool thing about this part where you would put the strap is this is a great place if you wanted to hang this up on your wall with floral coming out of it, you've got these holes back here that you could put some nice nails in to hang this on the wall. It's an it's like a really well-made basket. Um I would probably take this stuff out, but I'll ship it with it cuz Maybe you want it. Um, $18.95. And I think I paid two bucks for this, which, so that's a really good deal. I love the style of this. I like the little latch. I like the colors. Everything about this basket. Love it. Okay. Well, look Zeb's at this. Swans are hot right now. They are hot. And we have another swan coming. So we got like one little, two little, three little longer burgers, four little, five little. I don't have six little longer burgers. <laughs> we got five. <laughs> song ends there. We got five. Okay, so <laughs> that's a really good song. Oh, Sezzle is an app where you can break up payments. Yeah, if you go to JamieRayVintage.com, we have Shop Pay, and it can break up your order within in four payments. Yep. The website has that set up on it. Okay, so these are these were given to us by Joanne. She dropped them off today. We have. I'm going to sell them in a set of three. These are longer burger baskets, hand woven in the USA. Long burger is oh, that's not clear. I'll show you. Long burger is no longer in business and the baskets sell really well. So if you ever find a basket and then you flip it over and it says long burger, buy it because these are really, really collectible. I'm selling the set of three for $39.95, which if you know long burger is a pretty good deal. Um, but because I got them, the reason they're so sought after and popular is because they you got really unique shapes and they're really well, they're well constructed. Made. Um, I was just gonna say, like this has copper on it for this that that holds. Little, it's got a copper brad on it that holds the handle on. The reason why I'm selling for such a good price for the set of three is because Joanne gave them to me, so I'm passing that along. This is cute. I saw these selling upwards of twenty plus dollars 
online. This one, this, I should just claim this little basket is made to hang on the wall. This is part of a set of three. This is a little baby cradle. And I saw, like I said, over 20 bucks. We're going to sell it for $14.95 for that long. Little it drink. comes with the pillow and the liner, the ruffly liner. And then we have big basket. This one, if I'd have found this at a thrift store, I'd have probably paid five bucks for it. Um, they usually don't mark them up higher than that. I would have paid 10 if I knew it was long burger. Maybe, yeah. And we're selling the big one for the thrift store is usually not going to clue into that though. Like they, they're, they're, they, they're, they wouldn't know. They got that. someone back there that like baskets, slap their generic $5 basket price on there for the size and they're done. We're selling it for thirty nine ninety five. This would be great with a Christmas tree in it, don't you think? I like this because the bottom is bowed up. All those are too. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm, except for the little teeny. And then up. this is small on the bottom, and then the weave gets big. Longberger is not out of business. Well, why did I think they were out of business? I don't, know. I don't know. Okay, well. I don't know why you said that. There you go. I didn't know either. Because I thought somebody told me that. Are they in Ohio? Is that where they're Hold at? on. Now I got to Google it. She's Googling it. I know their headquarters were Midwest. They had a building that somewhere. looked like a basket. Yeah. Well, yeah, out of business. The company or not. ceased operations in 2018. The Longaberger brand has not one but two comeback stories. Maybe it's been bought out. Maybe they, yeah, maybe they someone bought all their designs and stuff. I don't know. All right. We got a little bit of a clock of Palooza coming. Oh, they were out of business, but now they're back. All right. Perfect. Okay. So these actually already sold. So this one person. was two. This one was three. This one's going to be $18.95. We're painting these. This one, I didn't, did I not get a price on this one? $22.95. $22.95. I just price? remember. Okay. And then we've also got this clock here. This well, these two already sold. Those ones, those ones are already these sold. Are gonna get painted in wax, and it was super cute. This one you can do a wall hanger with. Uh oh, don't drop stuff. You can do a wall hanger, but it's actually made to stand on its own here. And look, you can see the battery moving that second hand. It's still going. This was on the back porch, I believe, from Joanne. Um, I would, I'd have been five, ten, five to eight dollars on this yeah, at the thrift true. store. Um, twenty-eight ninety-five. Once we paint it, is what we're going to be selling it for. I like the way it sits up. Like it that. does have this plastic thing here that probably needs to come out. It's lost its face and it's broken, so I got to figure out how to get that out. But we'll go ahead and we'll fix we'll that all it. up. Worst case scenario, you just like sand the the screw smooth and then just paint it, and nobody will ever know. Paint solves a lot of things. Are you just going to break it? I don't know. I don't know. I think it's just going to pop out for me here. We're, we're about to find out. I think the whole clock is popping out. Maybe. Okay, so that's all part of it. So might have to rethink that. Maybe I'll do like some Put cool... some paper clay over it. I was going to say, I'm going to do some cool molds over the top of those. Nailed it. The nice thing is we can paint this and then we can do, do that separately. There you go. Good job, Zeb. All right. There's a clock over by you, too. You want to okay, grab that one? Okay, let's show all the clocks. Yep, clock of palooza It's happening. Oh, it's daylight savings time, so. <laughs> is that today? That's yes. not today. Is it today? So this has already been painted in wax. Looks like it's got some salt wash on it. Um, I, I am going to repaint it, but it's going to have a similar look. I think I'm just going to change the shades a little bit, and I'll bring back some of the metallics. This one, I think, um, was $39.95. That was this. Yeah, $39.95, and this is also from Joanne. Probably would have paid upwards of ten dollars. I love like I think it's gonna look really cool hanging. It's a good, it's a good clock. I like yeah, the shape and the design. It's and like it chunky the, yet it's and, and it's metal. It does need to have this cleaned really really well. So yeah, is it a little out. cloudy? It's a little cloudy. A little cloudy. And All then right. we have one more clock. This one's gonna have to zoom in sideways at you. Oh my my mom and dad are watching. They're hey, what's days. up? Oh, this clock is bomb. So if you guys watched um, the video that I put up on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok, you saw Zeb carrying this clock around the thrift store with it over his shoulder like a giant lollipop. Like the lollipop kids. We there, you can get the whole whole clock of it there. It's awesome. It's super heavy. It's cast, I believe, yes. Uh, it, I think it's resin. Yeah, cast resin. 
And um, we paid how much for it? Uh, ten dollars. And it's going to be one hundred and thirty-nine ninety-five. Let me see if I can get you this good detail. Uh, it's a little. There you go. And we're going to paint and wax it. Once that's painted and waxed, it's going to look like the biggest, baddest clock that looks like a candlestick that ever was made. And the we can we're even going to paint the clock face and all. So we'll take out the mechanism and paint it all cool. It is cool. It's one of my favorites that we found. She was super excited. Where did I, I found? That I was, was in the yard. That. Yep. Okay. Oh, we this sold. We were going to show them the totem, the bear totem. I've never thrifted a totem, and I didn't thrift this one. It came from Joanne. I've never sold one before. I would have probably paid up to five bucks, and I sold it for nineteen ninety five as is. So if you've got, if you're the one that bought it, let me know like what you're going to do with it because I think the bottom's maybe, a little toasty. Yeah. So Zeb was going to cut it flush for you. So just let us know if you want us to do that. We it will. doesn't. It doesn't sit quite flat because I think it's been sitting outside in the dirt. And it's got a little bit of uh, wear and rot on the wood there where it's crumbled away. But if I cut that flat, I think it'll sit nice and flat. So if you don't want it cut, I'll wait to hear from you because I don't know about the magical properties of this totem, if that would ruin it or not. So I don't know about them. So just saying. Did the big basket sell? Um, I am I not sure, Cheryl. I will look. Does the totem clock work? The totem is that. This is the totem, the bear yeah, totem. The bear totem. The clock so does the work. The clock does work. Yes. If it doesn't, I'll put a new mechanism in it because it's. We got cool. mechanisms for days. Oh, check the clock price. Kayla was supposed to check all the prices, did it not? Hold on, hold please. You you gave me one thirty nine ninety five on that big clock. I know. Did I not? Did you did you put it for cheap? I don't. I don't. While she's looking up price, oh, it's correct. we've got this tarnished silver, and it's it's like a pressed silver design on it. It's kind of hard to see. I'll hold it close here in a second, but I really like these when they press out the design on That's the side. So cool. It's a really cool tray. I like it. Um, this is from the church. It was out in the cottage. Yeah. That, so this came from the cottage. It's from the lambs. They have had some stuff they didn't want, and I was like, I will haul stuff away for you. Like, don't throw away good stuff if you don't want it. And this was in the cottage there. So I didn't think Harrington was going to have any call for having that. This is the perfect for, like, a vignette. If you're going to do, like, candles or anything like that on a table or a coffee table, I love this style tray. Let's see if we can get this to focus on the design. So this one is $16.95. And then somebody had a question there, about how well. to remove rust from a colander. I actually don't know. I think you could probably sand the area where it's rusty until the rust is removed. And then you would need to seal it with like a clear sealer to keep it from rusting some more. Is that so, how you do it? so they have a rust remover that's okay. down. You can get it down at Home Depot, most places, order it offline. Um, and it's going to turn the metal kind of like a black color. And then what you want to do is we want to rub that off before it rusts again and seal it with something. But you can, that'll, that'll zip it right off. There you go. Straight out of Zeb's mouth. So let us know how that works out for you. Hopefully that helps. All um, right. Let's see. Oh, somebody asked about the long burger. It is all now sold. All of it and the decor fishing basket sold. Baskets are good. It's a basket time of season. It is the season. They're all very cozy, Easter. comfy. They're good for putting stuff in. They're great for hauling laundry, whatever. They're, they're just so useful. All right, so this is a tray, a dish for a dish that we don't have. We don't have the dish. This oh, was this also a punch side too. This was also out of the church. Really great detail on this. The silver is in. No, I think that came from. Is this off the back porch? Yeah, that came from the back porch. Check that. Um, it's from the back porch. It was either the back porch or from the church. Well, it's thirteen ninety five. I think it was from the church. I don't know. I, I'm... We spent all morning wrestling and then not we, us wrestling. No. We watched the boys. That sounded bad. <laughs> we were not wrestling. The little boys were wrestling. <laughs> then we took a un petite nap, like 30 minutes, and ran errands. And then we worked at the church trying to help the people that we bought it from move out. And then we came here. So I'm just a little bit tired. So my brain isn't functioning well. I can't remember who did who bought gave that to us. But anyways, I don't know. Either. What I was going to say is the last time we had one like that, somebody bought it. Um, we decided that they didn't buy it, that we would put a little like wood piece in there yeah, so that we would make insert. it into a tray. So if somebody doesn't buy this, we'll put a wood insert. But as is, we're going to sell it for $13.95. Okay. 
We've also got one of these. Jamie wanted to have a little PSA with you about painting silver. It's become quite popular. Don't do it. <laughs> it's so pretty. But maybe it doesn't sell where you're at. This so is if it doesn't not... sell where you're at, then I guess do what you want. But do me a favor. If you're painting tarnished silver, please use products that I could probably just like soak it and get it off. Don't use la nasty latex or spray paint. Don't do it. Um, Because so, somebody asked how tarnished silver sells for me. I sell silver, brass, copper, pewter. Anything metal, really. All of those like high quality metals, even if they're just like plated, always sell really well for me because there's something that stands the test of time. Some people don't see or don't know how to like decorate with them. But I find that if I take a tarnished piece of metal, I don't like to polish it. I actually love the tarnish. I leave it as is. But if I take those older pieces and I tuck them into decor and design that I'm doing in my house, it just gives it like an old world kind of upscale from years past look that you just can't get from anything else. So if you must paint it, do it, but don't tell me about it. But this is not actually silver. It came from the lamp. It's so just we are pressed gonna paint tin. It. It's just tin. We're going to paint that one. All right. So this is a crystal ice bucket and these are very popular. This is Shannon Crystal Designs of Ireland, 24% lead crystal made in Slovakia. So these um, are really great if you have like a bar um, for cocktails or mocktails. Ain't nobody judging you either way. Um, and it, it still has a sticker on it. So I'm guessing it's like new old stock because it looks like it's never been used. I saw these anywhere from 30 to 50 plus dollars for crystal ice buckets like this in this brand. I paid $5 and I'm selling it for $24.95. It's good. It's, it's got a it's good design. Thick. Some crystal is not as thick. This is really thick, well-made crystal. You can hear the ring versus the glass. Can you guys yeah. hear that? That's how you know. Joan says, tarnishes patina. Leave it. That's right. But you know what? I try not to get all bossy with people because we paint furniture. People get bossy with me when I paint furniture. So I'm giving you my PSA because I'm telling you if you look up, like go to Pinterest, type in tarnished silver, like French country tarnished silver, and you will see the most gorgeous houses and staging ever. It just looks good. Like we have some candelabras that are tarnished a little bit and we decorate with them. It's, they're just, it's just pretty. All right. Also from the back porch, had a lot of good stuff on the back porch today. Um, Sandy says, I'll be happy to sell you my tarnished silver. Sandy, bring it on by. <laughs> we bought a ton of wearing round top. So this was brought to us on our back porch um, by Joanne. And it's just a really pretty ginger jar. The color's good. It's like that um, cobalt blue. Would you call it cobalt and white? Yeah. Yeah, it's, I would it's have probably paid cool five to seven dollars for it, and we're selling it for twenty two ninety five. Twenty two ninety five. Okay. Don says my fiance and I just opened our first thrift store a few weeks ago. That's nice. Awesome. That's thrift and stores are fun. I love Tam them. Tam B says I love to find tarnished silver. It's all over my house, and I use it um, for plant bases, and I have some with old keys in them. Nice. So these pillars are plaster. They were $4 each. We're going to paint them and sell the pair for $39.95. I dropped one loading it into the basket, but I will glue that ch little chip back on. They do have a couple little dings on them. But once they're painted, once they're they're painted it'll it'll be fine. They're cool, and they're big. Like, show them next to your forearm. Yeah, they are tall. They're big ones. I like them. They're going to require lots of bubble wrap. Our shipping team might, might not. Becky says, come to the UK, charity shops full of tarnish. Nobody wants it here. <laughs> you know, it's funny because I, um, Leslie says sacrilege, I know, but I don't care for tarnished silver. I think that thrifting and what's popular is all relative. So I always tell people when you go somewhere new, you should always check out their thrift stores because there might be things that are super expensive where you live, but less expensive elsewhere because different strokes for different folks, right? So there's like things that sell for super cheap here that sell for a lot more and vice versa. Like you go places like Ohio and like the Midwest and you can get corbels and cool old like primitive hutches and they're not super expensive. Come out here. You're making you me want to go to Ohio. For less than $200. Oh yeah, real authentic corbel is super pricey out here. All right, so I passed this one. I had it all in my hand, almost put it in the basket, passed it. Jamie's like, okay, we're taking that. 
Lizbury was... Galvin decorated with a swan. Done. If you don't follow her, she's on Instagram. I love her. And I saw it and I was like, yep. So obviously hers didn't look like this 1980s rendition of Crackle and Bow. But I'm going to probably sand it because the crackle is coming off. And then I'm going to paint it and wax it. for. I'm it's thinking, like latex crackle. Yeah, it's not good. They used a crackle medium. They did not use milk paint. Um, I'm going to paint it and wax it. it. Probably weathered wood and white wax. It's already been sold. And I paid two bucks and I'm selling it. I sold it for $24.95. Yep. So swans are in. Ducks, maybe not so much. But swans, yes. All right, we also have this fun little che uh, cheerful Santa. It's like a bust. It's like him, him from the waist up. It was a dollar. We're going to paint it up. Jamie's doing in the copper, copper patina, patina from DIY. Just like paint. the Mary on the donkey with the baby situation. That Santa's turned out so good. Copper with white wax. This is going to be $14.95 all done up. And then we've got this fun little Ooh, bowl. Lisa said she got the most beautiful ceiling tin tiles today. Oh, jealous. jealous. I'll we stop we, it. <laughs> Jinx. All right, so this is royal a royal Worcester. It doesn't say Worch Worcester. It's, worse, it's just now Avon. I can't say it. So it's Avon scenes. Pal oh, I I put Paisley. It's Palace, Palace C, England, England, 1790. They are very collectible. This one has, has a crack a in the back, but it's not like all the way through. Um, and almost all the way through. I mean, like, but it's not breaking in half. I paid 50 cents and I'm selling for $6.95. Lizbury, right. good Michigan girl, always has something new with her. Oh my gosh. She works so hard. Like they basically have swap their house out every never day. I've never seen somebody redecorate more in all my life. She wears me out, but her ideas are good. I'm like, you must have a separate house where you put all the crap that you're not currently decorating with. Like, where does all this stuff land? So maybe this it's in her barn. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I, when I meet her someday, I'm going to be like, Liz. All right, so this is this was a dollar. We're selling it for five ninety five. This is coming to you as is. Are we leaving the rattan on? What? Um, I'm gonna not paint it, so I guess I get it how it comes. Okay. It's stamped. We will clean it. I think it lived. Bum. Yeah, we will paint we will it. I think it. it lived in a garden. We will paint it. We're not. Oh, painting it. I said clean it. Did <laughs> I say paint it? Yes. Yeah, We're gonna clean it. it, not paint it. It's coming as is. Oh, Shelly says she got the lion and the lamb that I painted. Yay! Nice. I love that one. Okay. Jamie. We love a good little jewelry box. This one has a little place so you could put like a picture. It doesn't have the glass anymore. Someone just painted this wood. So I was thinking maybe do like a fun decoupage and then and then we'll you could replace it yeah, if you wanted to. Cute. I think just a fun little decoupage on there um, since it doesn't have the glass. And then it can also work to like hold stuff on the top and we're going to paint it yes it's a lovely shade of green but it's going to get painted um the ginger jar can you look over that yumika wanted to know if there's anything wrong with it i didn't notice anything but double check i didn't see any oh lisa got santa woo -woo. here while i'm looking over the jar so we got okay. like five more things and then we're going right. to get to painting so this was it's not to be used for food it says on the bottom um this was two dollars and we're gonna paint it, and I actually want to put some sort of stencil on the front of it. I want to sell it for fourteen ninety five. Zeb bought it because he really liked the shape of it, it's and good. I agree. I love the shape of it, and it's kind of got some fun texture, so I think it'll look good painted. And then this is the wee baby apothecary jar. It was seventy five cents. We're selling it for seven ninety five. I love the little knobby on the top. This is like the perfect size for like a bathroom for cotton balls or q-tips or whatever it doesn't have anything wrong with it no chips or flea bites that i can visibly see but it does have the maker handmade in spain a i don't know how to say that last name but you guys can kind of see it there it's not blurry there we go and it's got a date and a serial number and probably how many they made Leslie, this is tin it is not brass or i would not be painting it but good catch it's actually a rather cheap picture. It's not like anything to write home about, but it will be when I'm done painting. I thought this was a picture, but it's just a really cool vase. Yeah, and it, we're not painting it because it's in great shape. I didn't notice any chips on it, and the color is pretty cool. Look at that vase. $22.95. We paid three bucks, I think. Yeah. How much do we? These were together. They were in a bag. Were they, a buck 50? they were 75 cents each. So, yeah, buck a 50 buck for 50? both. Cement pears, also brought to you by Liz Marie. She loves herself some pears. 
They've got this cool like wood or resin top in here at twelve ninety five for the set. Oh, that's like a bamboo shoot. A bamboo shoot. There you go. Um, this also came from Joanne. It's going to be forty nine ninety five. It's a really cool antique mirror. It's Loomis Brothers Wood Crafts from Altaboro, Massachusetts. It's a reproduction of a Chippendale mirror. Um, and I would have probably paid upwards of 10 bucks for it. And we're going to paint it and wax it and sell it for $49.95. Or if you like the way it is, you can just let us know. It's it's uh, Water Lily White Wax. Or not Water Lily. It does Blue need Iris, a couple repairs. Blue Iris, a stencil, white wax. Yeah, so we're going to fix the back. They put like popsicle sticks to fix it. Which I thought was brilliant, I actually. I thought it was brilliant, but they're not quite sturdy enough. They've so been on there a while. It looks like it's had some wear and tear. We're going to put corners on the back and glue. What I might and do is I'll just put a whole backer board. I think I have a board scrap oh, okay. back there that'll fit that. Whatever it is, when you get it, the back will be fixed so that way that stays in. Okay. Okay. I'm just seeing if there's any questions. Oh, Yumiko, early birthday present. November 29th is your birth. You know whose birthday is coming up? Your birthday's on November 20th, you mean? 29th. 29th. All right. Odilia's texting me while I'm lying. Mine's on the 20th. All right. Yeah, he's going to be, how old are you going to be, Zeb? I'm, I'm, I'm going to be like four years old. Four years old. Oh, we have two more things. You bought these. You can I'm tell. turning 40 on the 20th. All right. Man, I'm exhausted. Super it's excited about it, actually. This is like it's been a big haul to get through and it's not that I'm that bad we've been cruising this was three bucks it's got like this weird wire mesh stuff on there i think we're gonna pull that off paint the whole thing and uh, update it a little bit because while some mesh is tasteful and can be done well for like bird cages and stuff in farmhouse decor this is I coming off know what that is like i don't understand why they put the wire mesh over that finish like it doesn't yeah, i don't know better. either and then oh, I just wow. thought this tray was cool. It's got like a leather. It might be faux. You know, I don't think it's actual real leather insert inside here, but I liked the detail on the tray. I thought it'd be great centerpiece or, uh, you know, you could even just use it as like a shelf sitter or on top of a desk with your stuff organized, like your stationary type of things. Thought it was good. If you guys have watched us before and you want to see things get painted, we are going to paint some tonight, but our video that we put up Monday or Tuesday, I can't remember when it was, we finished painting everything from last week's thrift haul. So we'll probably do that again this week because we actually have a ton of stuff. We're obviously not going to get through all of it. Um, and so we'll do another video so you guys can finish all of that stuff and get to see us paint it all. It's fun. More than we do in 30 minutes. I don't know where he went. All right. He went in the garage. I'll wait for him to get back. Um, let's see if there's any questions while we're waiting for him. That tray would look cool on oh, the candlestick. What? That tray would look cool on the candlestick. Oh, like this. It would, although this candlestick is very tall. I mean, it was like that tall. A little bit tall for me. Everybody's saying happy birthday to Becky and Yumiko. Marlene says that Zeb's one month older than her daughter. She turns for 40 on in December. It's awesome. Okay. You know what they say about November babies, right? Leslie, I didn't say we weren't going to paint this week. She said we owe a girl. Leslie says we owe her because we didn't paint last week. We made a whole video on paint. painting, just on painting, just for you, Leslie. But when somebody says I owe them, I'm like, mm, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got, look at this paint. Look at this towel. That towel is disgusting. <laughs> it's not disgusting. It's like a tapestry now. Here, start painting Santa with copper. Could you cut that candlestick in half? I don't think so. I think it's just shattered. Uh, which one? This one? It's all with a wire mesh. Yeah, this is plaster, so I, I don't want I mean, it's probably hollow inside. Yeah, it's hollow up through the middle. All right, Santa's getting painted. What are you going to paint today? We usually at least paint one thing. Well, we got... We've got about 26 minutes of painting to do, so I got to figure it out. I'm tired, man. I moved a lot of heavy stuff. I think I'm going to start good, with this. I'm going to decoupage it real quick. I'm going to go grab a heat gun and some paint. Do you need a brush for that, or did you grab one? I grabbed a brush. 
Oh yeah, I forgot. We should. We probably should have talked about this earlier. DIY has the new paint frosting that you can pre-order. It should be shipping somewhere around the fifteenth of the month, maybe a little bit later. We we have to wait for the official ship date, but we are pre-selling it on the website. And the way that paint frosting works is you add it to DIY paint, and over the course of twelve hours, it thickens your paint, so you can use it to do like um, texture medium, like for a stencil. Or you could do fake snow on something with it. And the longer you let it sit, the thicker it gets. You don't have to wait 12 hours to use it. It just gets thicker over time. And one little two ounce container does like five quarts of paint. So a little bit goes a long way with it. I'm excited to get it and use it. I actually haven't used it yet. Debbie did a live video and I've known about it for a few, few months, I think. She's shown me some projects, but um, I haven't actually got my hands on it yet. So I'm super excited. I'm hoping that because we ordered like as soon as it went live, so we should be some of the first people to get it. I'm hoping that we get it sometime next week and then um, we'll do some videos to show you guys how to use that paint frosting. I always love to play with new products. OK, so Santa here is getting pennies from heaven. This is a DIY product. It is a patina. It works best over white painted surfaces, in my opinion. But because this is like a bit an unfinished plaster covering rather well and if you've used the uh golden ticket i feel like the copper patina is actually thicker than golden ticket usually golden ticket takes two coats but if you're painting something like this that's bisque usually i only need one coat of the copper patina i'm looking for a bird looking decoupage for a paper oh in the the reject paper yeah that paper that got damaged in shipment uh, to a retailer and we just gave them their money back. They didn't want, we were going to offer them a discount. They didn't want it anyways. They shipped it back to us and we're going to iron it out, but got a whole stack of paper. There's waste, waste not want not. I'm actually not finding it in this. Are you sure? Oh, oh, bird? oh, found some. I'm pretty sure like every order that goes out has bird paper in it because it's super popular. Yeah. So these are JRB papers. We design them and we have over 200 retailers that carry our papers and our stencils, um, but we also sell them at jamiemarievintage.com. If you want, you can also go to JRB Wholesale and see if you can find a retailer near you, but you should always contact a retailer and make sure they're carrying the product you're looking for because we have a lot of paper and stencils and beauty products and things that we wholesale. <laughs> And now the new candles and the melts and everything else. Oh, and the stencil brushes. Yep. And not every retailer carries every product. Okay, so I'm just going to paint this white because whatever color is on the back will come through slightly on the paper. And then I'll heat gun that. I'm going to wait to paint the base of this because I want, I, I don't want this to get any paint to get down on the felt accidentally. Joni says that Liz Marie has a store. That's where all of her stuff goes when she's done. This is true. I, I'm sure she does that because that's what I do too. I change out my decor often, not as often. Um, but she actually will move stuff around a lot. And you see stuff come back. So I'm just thinking she must have like a barn or something where she keeps all of her decor that she's not using. She does a really good job of it. I'm not, I don't redecorate as, as often. I can't, she does it just to show people looks and then she'll completely redo it without even really leaving it up for a while, which is awesome. That's great of her for like showing people different ways to decorate. I'm like, this is how I decorate it. And it's going to sit like this for six months to a year before. I We're hoping with it. the new uh, larger store though, with the church that we'll be able to really switch some stuff out and create kind of some fun True. vignette areas. Jamie showed me a whole kitchen. She's like, can you just put this in the church and I can decorate it like seasonally with all the, the fun kitchen stuff I have? Liz has been sharing all kinds of pictures of her store. And I'm like, Deb, I'm going to need you to look at this. She's got some store envy. I've got some <laughs> store envy. She has such a pretty store. All right. So real quick, just going to heat gun this. I'm only going to do one coat. I just didn't want this kind of limey green to come through. It's not bad. It's been glazed with some brown something. So it's kind of throwing me off a little bit. So he's all done. He'll get white wax just to add a little oxidation to it, but it'll be cool. Okay. 
So I need to. Oh, it's on here. Good. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. So this is liquid patina uh, from DIY. It's crystal clear chandelier, not to be confused with the copper patina because they're in the same family. You got built in sealers in them. This one dries clear. That one looks like copper. I mean, look at that Santa. It's sitting there looking all bright and shiny and amazing. All right, so I did, I, I put this on too soon. What do you guys think? Should I do a bird or should I do one of the cool corner pieces? This is another one of my papers that I designed mostly by myself. I Jamie, Jamie always okay. puts some input in. Not always. Pretty much always. Okay, yeah. All right, focus camera, focus. I don't know why it won't focus on that. See if it'll find the bird. It's not gonna do it. Maybe we'll bring it back a little so you can see it. So I've got like these kind of, uh, they're, they, they were an advertisement for an estate. And so I, I dropped them in the corners of these birds, of this bird paper. Man, that's frustrating. Focus. So we commercial license old like ephemera and artwork. So that's where all of our decoupage paper comes from. And then we manipulate them and redesign them and lay them out in Photoshop. Luckily, Zeb went to school for graphic design. So he's pretty good at Photoshop. And I'm not good at Photoshop, but I am good at like hitting the keys until I get them to do what I want. What are folks saying? Are they wanting to see the bird, oh, like a bird chat. on there? Oh, Ooh, thank super you for the super sticker. chat. sticker. From Rosie Ibarra and Sally Von Zwoll says, love seeing all of the painting. Thanks, Sally and Rosie. Sorry, I missed your super chat when it first came out. And Heidi says, oh, cool, you license them. Yeah, so we li like we don't license them to other people. We buy the licensing, like the commercial licensing. All right. And I, <laughs> I probably bought way more stuff than we're ever going to use because I just buy stuff as I find it and then when I need it I have it saved. She did not give me the answer I wanted. What? What answer did you want? Sorry. Um, bird would look good. How does that work? Oh, super chat from Leslie for the church. Thank you. Bird. The more time we spend there, we're like, holy bird. Alright, I read like four or five that say to use the bird. Oh, awesome. Thank you for all the super chats, guys. We appreciate that. Did we already tell them about... <laughs> the cottage and the water no <laughs> it happened <Good> yesterday <laughs> what's the no, day before yesterday so two days last night we were at the football game. Track. day before it. so zeb and i are at the cottage that's the there's a, a little it's actually like an old shed and storehouse on the property but they turn it into a house a residence i guess um and working in the bathroom nobody showered in this bathroom for years and zeb has decided that we're going to change the shower pan out and the wall panel so he's trying to take this wall panel off and he's trying to loosen the um hardware is that what's called hardware the so i just want to take the wall panel off of it right but what's the thing that you took the, the on off switch for the water yeah what well, there's a word <laughs> the for faucet it. the faucet yes well it's not a faucet in the shower but whatever you get the point so zeb is trying to loosen that so we can take the wall panel off and it just breaks. There it was is water so corroded. Out the hole all over Zeb. And I, I see Harrington. I'm out. I was doing something with Jan. That's the daughter in law of Jean, who is the original owner of the house. Um, and I hear Harrington, Dad needs to turn the water off. Dad needs to turn the water off. So you go talk to them. They're like, I don't know where the shutoff is for the cottage because it has its own electric and gas. And so they're assuming that it has its own shutoff. So we're calling the water company. Anyways, the, the, this whole time, this water is spraying off of Zeb, and he is trying to put that knob back. And but every time I go in there, I can't help but laugh so hard because, oh, my gosh, we're back in the saddle again after the <laughs> remodel of, um, this house. of this house. And uh, anyways, finally, we, we find out that it's actually the same water main as the house. We get it turned off. And then it took half an hour. And the reason I was replacing it. Dirt, so the reason I was replacing it back up just a sec is because there's no, there's like a big crack in the shower pan. So the water, when you shower, just runs down into the dirt and doesn't go in the drain. Yeah. And uh, he got all muddy trying to turn the water main off. And then we had to go to Home Depot and he and like, you look like you wet yourself and other things because you're muddy and wet. And, 
anyways, so that's we got it turned off, we got it fixed. But all right, I'm gonna let this dry. We're still not done with the cottage. No, I'm leaving it because I don't want to have to. I need to turn the water all the way off, and they're still there moving, and need to use the the restroom and drink and probably clean some stuff. I don't know. Okay, so I've got this decoupage. Obviously, it's way oversized for this little square, but there's like eight more birds on there. I'm going to paint this while that's drying. I'm going to be careful around the edge here. Les said that she needed to, that made her laugh. She <laughs> needed to laugh. Jamie's got, I think she put it in stories. It's like literally like hosing no, out I the don't wall. I mean, I'm like, it's like, it's like a movie reel, right? Like one of the bloopers. I'm like holding the water, trying to like keep it from spraying all over the bathroom. Like it got the floor all wet anyway. Cause after I, cause I had to leave and go find the water main. So it was just running that whole time while I'm finding this. I feel like most people, the water company an came out or lost their crap, but. After everything we went to with, in, through this house, I was like, I'm just going to laugh because what else are we going to do? And it was literally the first night, like we ripped up the carpet in the cottage and we were like cleaning things out. I like re we're keeping the original windows. So I caulked them on the inside. So that way they were airtight. Um, it's our very first night working on this project. Well, we're trying to hurry because Harrington has been living with Ty and Mariah because if you've been following along, he got his his landlord sold the house that Harrington was renting the basement at. And so we had to move. Um, and so he's living with Ty and Mariah and he loves having his own place and his cat fights with their cat and it's become a situation. Yeah. But we're probably going to have to wait because we need to get a permit and get 10, 10 amp service to the cottage. 100 amp. 100 amp. Sorry. 100 amp. <laughs> Sorry, I think I said 10 amp today. It has like a 10 amp service it to it now. When you turn amp. the garbage disposal off, it dims the all the on. lights. <laughs> yeah, Jan was telling me she was just so out there that that would happen. But anyways, so it's just a process. I told Harrington, I said, worst case, I guess since we're not going to be doing much in the church for a minute while we like make decisions on that, then he can stay there while we finish the cottage. And <laughs> anyways, it's a whole Make situation. decisions, work on permits, all the fun stuff that goes into so because so because it's different it's a commercial property so i can't just go in there as the homeowner and do whatever i want i have to have licensed contractors come help us out on some certain things and so i'm looking probably here shortly into getting my contractor's license i know all the code i just built this house and we passed all the inspections so i'm like might as well go get it <laughs> joan says that 10 amp wouldn't light a candle probably true joan is right that's not much power most breakers in your house to run your lights are 15 amp and you can run 12 lights off of a 15 amp breaker so it looks like this candlestick just fully. how do you get this off Deb? um so i was just going to take some wire cutters and cut it uh yes here can you heat gun this and put a second coat without getting my felt i mean I could try. I know you can do it. I have faith in you. I think the reason why I'm half asleep is because I'm already in my pajamas. I did my laundry and I washed up dead sweatpants and they're my favorite thing to lounge around the house in. All right, second coach. Are the kids okay up there? I'm hearing lots of Yeah, the boys are fighting. Odelia's done with them. She's like, they're not, she's not, they're not listening to me, dad. Can you go yell at them real quick? <laughs> Adelia, go tell those boys to just go to bed at after 9 o'clock. So you could use you give them some melatonin? whatever pliers really. I mean, this is just thin little wire. I mean, I just snapped it right there like that. So I'm just going to work on this. And Are you ready to paint this? Oh, you already painted all this stuff copper over here. Look at you. While I, was dick, while I was dick, it is fast. It covers so copper good. It covers really good. I'm always like really surprised at how well it covers. So fun. We started wrestling today. We were not prepared well, and neither were the boys. boys. Well, first of all, football season done. ended last week, yeah, we like last Saturday. With playoffs. Some boys have been done for a while, but our boys advanced in playoffs. So we just got done with football playoffs. And um, I, we were in a pinch to get them registered. So I normally they weigh them. So I was like, Zeb. Just put 105. They were both at school when I was registering them. I didn't have them to weigh. So I said, just put 105 for Redrick, because I know he was 100 pounds not too long ago. And put, for Jack, go ahead and put 65, because I know that's about right. Well, it turns out Redrick's only 100 pounds, and Jack's only 60 pounds. 
And with the weights we put him in, moved him up in the next bracket, which means Redrick was wrestling people that weighed up to 114 pounds, and Jack was wearing, wrestling people that weigh up to 70 pounds, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're only 60 pounds, 70 pounds, that's like a big jump. It's more than 10%. Anyways, so <laughs> that happened. And then we get there. I was like, it's okay. It's good for you. Just, you know, be tough. Jack gets into his first match, and he was not prepared he cried the whole way through the match and I couldn't watch because I'm, I'm a tender heart. And so I just let his dad handle it. He got out. I gave him some water. He wasn't like hurt, but you know, it's a little uncomfortable when someone's yanking on your arm. So I gave him some water and a granola bar and a hug and a It kiss. can be pretty emotional. It's almost like fighting. Yeah, but not, <laughs> we're not fighting. We're getting stressed. And I gave him a hug and kiss to him. I'm like, well, if you do a good job, then I will, um, I will buy you a new video game when you get home. <laughs> we don't call that bribing. We call it incentivizing. If you, and I didn't tell me how to win. I just said he had to do his best. Don't give up. Because I feel like that's a good life lesson with everything. If you don't give up and do your best, eventually you'll make progress. That's how we did this house. That's how we've done every part of our business. I don't think anything's ever just landed on our laps pretty much Not everything's right. just been slow and steady growing over the years so anyways jack gets back in there he wins he's still crying he's still crying in the second match but he he's ahead in points and, and it wasn't won. this is jack it won. wasn't like we're like dragging him out there on the match no, to he wrestle he's just though. he's just he, he was together. not ready for wrestling <laughs> he pulled it together by this point but he's he gets his arm raised because he wins his second match and this is jack off the off mat. The mat. <laughs> he got a little swagger in his step. I took a cute picture of him and I put it up on Instagram stories and Facebook stories. So I have to check that out. And then he won his second match after that. So he lost his first one, two. Then Redrick lost his first match. Um, it was a girl. I don't think he was prepared for that. Um, he was apprehensive to wrestle her because, you know, chivalry is alive and well at our house. And these girls that wrestle, they come to bring it. And, they want, and they Redrick was not bringing it. <laughs> and, he, and she was tough. I think yeah. she could have taken him anyways. And she was every bit of 114 pounds. Yeah. Anyways, so uh, he wasn't prepared for that. But then his, he got pinned and like the foot that girl stuck it to him. She pinned him in the first one. Harrington like, shook her hand. He's like, good job. You brought it. <laughs> yeah. Harrington, my, our oldest boy, is one of the wrestling coaches. He volunteers with the program. But anyways, um, he, he got pinned. And then he... he pulled himself together, and then he pinned his last two matches. So both Jack and Redrick placed second at their tournament today, which when the tournament started, I wasn't sure that they were going to make it through all their matches. So I would say that's pretty good. So Carol had a fun comment. I read it over there. Um, she said this spring her and her husband won an auction on a storage locker unit, and there was so much good stuff in there. They got a booth, and they're still making a profit off their booth. Oh, I love that. That's Wow. I'm like, man, I need to go find some storage storage units. <laughs> Les says bribes always work. Les, we don't call it bribing. We call it incentivizing. It's a bribe. I feel like if you teach people that if they work hard, they can earn something, that's a good life lesson because basically if you work hard and push through stuff that's difficult, there is usually a reward at the end. Your boss maybe let get you an extra day of paid time off. Bonuses, right? <laughs> it's just a life bonus. Now... I ain't going to bribe you to do your chore. You do your chore or you get another chore or I take stuff away. That's another story. Or if you don't clean your room, I don't pay to have your car cleaned, Odelia. She's, she's, she's like, the other day Odelia comes in. She's like, Dad, my car's kind of messy. You think we can take it through the car wash? I'm like, well, you can take it through the car wash. She's like, well, do I have to pay for that? I'm like, you got it dirty, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm you, not, and, and Jamie's listening. She's like, let's make a deal. You get your room cleaned, like all the way good cleaned, and we'll pay to get your I car I made that cleaned. deal because I know it ain't never going to happen, so then I don't have to pay for the car wash. Problem solved. Save me some money. And if she doesn't clean her car, I'm going to take it away. Because you got to take care of your stuff. So there you go. You're at an impasse. She does have money. She worked a whole shift at the shop today. She did. She worked a and shift last, last week. week, and that's how you got your lashes did. In between chair. So don't you be acting like stuff over there. <laughs> 
She has lash extensions now. She works for them. Aunt Mariah has ventured into doing lashes, she and does a so good job. and so uh, you know Odelia is helping her get going. She's hey, like, yeah, you can do mine. <laughs> this I feel like I'm gonna do two coats on it because for whatever reason you can kind of see the base coat, maybe because it was darker. So I'll let this dry. I'll do a second coat of copper patina, and then I'm gonna white wax it so that way it tones it back and oxidizes it. You don't have to do the white wax over copper. I think it looks really good. Like this would probably be fine without it, but I will white wax it because it'll look pretty. But I think this, I want it to have some age to it because it's got some imperfections in the casting and the white wax will look good. All right. Wish me luck. I'm going to try to paint this lip because it's going to give me an eye twitch because it's just raw wood without getting paint on the felt. My mic sounds muffled. Every now and then. It's because you were over here and you swapped Sorry. and then you were over there and you swapped. Heidi says Jack is something else. He's funny. He's a good kid. It, Kai says it was nice to see Mariah on the shop tour. She She's a good egg. She actually worked today too and she helped ship out paper because we got our Santa paper back in. So if you've been waiting on an order and it had Santa paper in, if it didn't get shipped today, Ivy will get them shipped out on Monday. She's shipping again. But Mariah worked on that. The Santa paper has been super popular. I can't keep it in stock. I've, I've reordered it like four times. Yeah. That's because you did a good job designing it. Good job painting that. You're going to have to make sure that's super dry before you shut it down. I'm, gonna, I'm about to heat gun it in a second here. Yumiko says, I like shipwrecked wax. I like shipwrecked wax on the copper. But you have to be careful not to put it all over or it dulls down the color. Grandpa says, they didn't have car washes when I was a teenager. <laughs> it was called a bucket and water. Yep. We do have a bucket and water, although the outside water is getting turned off very soon. Yeah, I turn. So we have, off. we have what's called secondary or it's not gray water. It's secondary water. Technically, it's safe enough. You could drink it. But no, no. it's not it's not ran through the filtration plant, um, and it's for specifically for irrigating and like sprinklers and trees and gardens and things like that. And that's what we use to wash the car. But I turned that off like I don't know a couple of weeks ago. I turned it off when it started freezing. So you know, well, in the car wash, she would have to haul literally haul the bucket out there from inside the house. Car washes might be good for the water. Yeah, they so, do. It's a little bit more eco-friendly. At least that's what the car washes say. I don't know. I've washed many cars with a bucket. I promise I'm going to have this little uh, box ready to go here in just a don't minute. Don't worry. I just got three things painted over here. I, I had to, I had to really work. I've decoupaged. And you I had podged. to be careful. I did. I did some podging. Um, but if you haven't watched Monday's video, then you don't know what we're saying about podging. I had to be careful with the felt. I didn't want to get the paint on that felt because it's in really good shape and it's nice and clean. Can you hear me now? Let's see. Do we have a timeline for the church? January or later? Oh, I'm ho I'm hoping we can get in there before September. It took us eight months <laughs> to buy it, and I think it's going to probably take us six months to a year to get it opened up and ready for the public to come in and shop. We'll say that. Because A, it's a lot of work, and B, we've got some hurdles to jump through to get it to to uh, through permits and things like that. And I want to do it like, I can't. She wants it to I, be amazing. I can't just slap it together. It's not a slapping project. It's not a paint slapper. Oh, I sound good. Okay, thank you. I just wanted to make sure you guys could hear me. Um, Heidi says... She appreciates Team Ray covering her shifts. No problem, Heidi. I actually had a bunch of stuff that I needed to get done. So I wound up while I was covering, because Heidi's son's been sick. So she works for us um, or works with us, however you want to say it. And I had some things that I needed to do in the store. And so I got those all finished and done. And we even went live on Facebook while we we're covering Heidi's shift. And then today, um, Odelia and Mariah. And Mariah was actually going to come in and ship anyway, so it worked out. And it's good for Odelia to get up early on a Saturday. So it's felt on the bottom. So I will clean this up a little bit. Um, That's really cute. Yeah. It's a lot better than I'm that about green. to show them. All right. Whoops. It paused on my face in a very weird place. Yeah, it's still paused. I don't know what's going on. I'm making the worst face. 
Hold on, it says it's busy. Oh, I bet my card's full. Oh, what are you gonna do? Um, hang on. Wait for it. Are we here? Uh, I can't turn it off either. We might uh, we might be done. If oh, they okay. can still see us or hear us, guys, we gotta we oh, gotta go. The camera froze up because I think my card filled up or overheated. One of the two. I can't turn it off. I'm making the worst face. <laughs> hang on tell them we'll be right back i said we gotta go i'll tell them we'll be right back okay we'll be right back sorry they can still hear us oh okay i had to take a picture of myself because that's the worst i gotta be i gotta watch my face like what what even is that i don't know i think the camera overheated all right <laughs> hang on hold oh, please that's funny has been pausing like that all night. <laughs> oh, really? It's a cute face. It's not cute, Angela, but you're nice. Are we back? We're, uh, no. What does this say? It says download images. I don't know. You have to did you touch some stuff? I did not touch anything. Oh, you got to quit out of that. Well, that just popped up. We're losing uh, people. They're dropping like flies. Yeah, that's all right. The people that are staying are going to get to see this because I didn't show them the decoupage paper. Yeah, we're we're fixing it. We know it says EOS cam. Just a second, guys. <laughs> Can hear you. Don't touch anything, Sally. I'm not touching anything. <laughs> Dad's touching stuff. Yeah, the, Hang the on. computer, the camera. Sorry. Can we just use the computer? Audio was removed. Oh, that's what it said. No, don't touch that. Hang on. Just use the computer. The audio is fine and it's still going. So just use the MacBook. Camera. I'm going to. All, All right. right. There we go. This will work. What? It... <laughs> I don't know why we didn't do this from the beginning. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's when here we go. We are. It's when we go super long. You guys, 890 people. They're still here. Sweet. Okay. Since you, you patiently me? waited, here is the bird box. All done up. I might paint this top too, just because I got to do a second coat on here. I might just paint that because because when you open it, it wants to look cool. Maybe even decoupage that side. So when you're looking at your, your jewelry, you don't have to look at this. So cute. I think it's better than the green. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it turned out good. Awesome, guys. Thanks for sticking around. <laughs> Just fair warning, this camera is horrible. It makes me look 20 years older and wider <laughs> than I actually am. This is the computer camera. All um, right. Well, we appreciate you guys sticking with it and doing these live streams with us. It means a lot to us. Yeah. And you know what? For just like being patient with us, I know you guys are wanting to get into the church. We've got some stuff going on that we can't talk about yet. Um, but we are hoping to get a video up of the church in a couple weeks. Right now, we haven't done a video because- They're moving out. They're still moving out. And um, they technically have only until Tuesday, we should be getting the keys, but we're friends. We're gonna help them. We're gonna make it work. So we will get I you a tour. I hauled a whole load of, a huge trailer load over yeah. Harrington and I over to their new place for them this afternoon. Yeah, so. we, we want to be able to get you guys inside the church, but we also need to be respectful of um, the people who are currently living there. And then we have some other stuff going on. So anyways, um, I did find out though, that there is uh, some spirits that like to hang out there. <laughs> Turn of the century and period clothing. So I'm super excited to get to meet them. I'll let you know how that works out. I guess when you buy a hundred year old church, it comes complete. With it's almost spirits. 130. In, 130. In two years, it'll be 130 years old. Yes, yeah, so Delia, there are actually ghosts. All right, guys, <laughs> shop jamierayvintage.com for the pain products. Or if you want to buy anything that you saw tonight, be sure to give us a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. Love you guys. Thanks for joining us.